Radio Flyer, the brand we all grew up with with the little red wagons, they have stepped up their game. They're now providing the ultimate family experience for e-bikes. Let's get into it. Clicking the link down below is going to send you on over to the Flyer website where you can sign up to get a hundred dollars off an e-bike through their newsletter so go ahead and check that out they have quite a few e-bikes here actually five of them if this isn't a classic e-bike that reminds you of christmas time i don't know what is this is the guy that we're reviewing today it comes in four different colors the l885 you can also get it pretty much custom made to your build for different heights of riders so medium kind of fits not only my frame but also my wife's frame and we have the quick release on the seat so it's a little bit easier for us to set up our height preferences. Also in the video today, you're gonna to see the car carrier, which is amazing because it doubles as a uh, like a grocery basket. You can also get an extended range battery, which is gonna boost it up to 50 miles of range. Um, stock is around 30 miles of range. I also have the front basket loaded on here. Also in the video is the Flyer Duo Flex that can be converted into the stroller. We'll be using this extensively with the new baby coming soon. L885 came in a massive box. It weighed 100 pounds when it came in, but the bike itself is about 70 77 pounds before putting on those additional accessories like the front and rear racks. Now it comes double box for safety and then everything in here was meticulously wrapped and secured so it's not rattling around and there's no chance of anything really getting damaged here. The packaging was impressive. Um, they also include flyers for the rest of their products as well. Of course, they included the tools necessary, but I always recommend having your own tools just in case something doesn't work perfectly or power tools just <laughs> accelerate the whole thing. So there's the bike out of the box. Um, I think I just slid it out of the side because that's usually the easiest way to get these bikes out of the boxes instead of pulling them out vertically, which is pretty difficult to do since they weigh an awkward almost 80 pounds. I love the center stand here. It is an absolute must in my opinion when you're loading and unloading kids. It really stabilizes the bike. Um, here is the front headlight that swivels when it's connected to the front forks, but when you add the basket, it moves to the front of the basket and it no longer swivels. I really like the fenders on here. They're pretty easy to assemble. Quick release here on the main wheel. This little spring was actually the hardest thing for me to assemble the whole time. I used actually an Allen wrench because it's really hard to use your fingers to stretch out the spring. So I used the hex key to pull it all the way onto the next anchor. And then you have this little sleeve to protect it. So what it does, uh, this spring does is stabilize the steering experience. It's a bit weird at first if you're not used to it, but after a couple minutes, um, it felt very, very natural to me. Pretty simple and easy to put on the pedals with a wrench. Now you have to assemble the running boards for the rear passenger's legs. And it's just those three bolts right there. It's pretty easy to do. Now, if you're going to be assembling uh, the rear kid ca uh, carrier slash basket back here, do not put these on um, this these wooden pedestals because you're going to have to take them right back off to put on the kid carrier. Now you have this swivel area on the steering knuckle i guess you could say that lowers or or raises the handlebars which is quite nifty now the boxes for the baskets were also impressive as you can see they have their own custom tape for their boxes and packaging i really appreciate that and then once you open the boxes all of their items are custom wrapped i hope you have an afternoon to yourself because it's probably going to take an hour for the bike to assemble maybe a little bit less if you're able to get that spring to work faster than I did. But each individual piece, like the front basket and the rear basket, is probably 20, 30 minutes a piece as well. The battery takes about 10 hours to charge from completely empty to full. Um, like I said, 30 miles of range on here on the standard battery, but you can increase that capacity with the additional battery to get up to 50 miles of range. Now, here's the Radio Flyer logo on the front. Unfortunately, you have to take this cool logo plate off to put on the front basket, which is definitely a compromise worth making. You still get the, the cool Flyer logo on the front of the basket too, though. Here's a charger, pretty self-explanatory what this does, and make sure to always inflate your tires so the bike rides as it intended, and also you get the best efficiency and if you run out of range if you're on flat tires my gosh this is going to be very difficult to pull the freight train of kids behind you we have a massive 26 inch wheel up front that provides a lot of stability when we start riding uh this bike loaded up with four kids you put two on the kid carrier that is literally attached to the bike and then for the trailer that's also uh doubles as a uh, stroller with additional wheels that go on there and you put two kids in the back there as well and uh, we have a 500 watt motor in the back 
might sound a little underwhelming, but I promise you it is the perfect amount. Uh, it is very smooth, very powerful, uh, and will pull all these extra bodies along with us today. I also have the front rack here that will do a good job collecting sandals here in a little bit as we're taking this to the beach. The headlight I have on uh, just for that extra visibility uh, during the day. Now we don't have a suspension on here, but actually this is one of the smoothest bikes I've ever ridden, even though uh, there's no suspension on the front or the rear. Part of that is these really fat tires, um, especially these 26 inches up front that really do a great job soaking all the bumps up. And we have a smaller wheel in the back, a 20 inch, that makes it easier for the kids to get on and off. Also that kid carrier, you can see it zips up um, and you just unbuckle some clips behind it and you'll be able to use that as a grocery carrier. I love the stroller here because if it starts raining, you have this plastic cutout that will cover it. Um, and it's very easy to attach this by the way and disattach it with just a clip as well as a safety mechanism on the back. But we have all the storage back here as well. So if I was taking a long trip to the beach, I could actually put a cooler back here. Um, and you can see my camera bags back there you have two additional brakes on the back uh, a lot of competitors will just have a single brake um, and yeah like this thing is, is foldable so that's some of the thing issue I've had in the past is that these car these kid, kid carriers are just take up so much garage space uh, and this literally folds in half you can take it with you in your car as well so let's go ahead Fold this back down. Make sure that you have the flyer logo here. You got a couple reflectors on the back, which is great. Comes with this huge old uh, flag as well. Now we have a few different driving modes here, or should I say pedal assistant modes. There's actually five in total as I get off the center stand there. That center stand is amazing. Oh, and I also have a little bell. <laughs> Love that feature. So there's a happy medium with this bike in my testing. And that is, well, starting off, you can always use the throttle, which is right here. Uh, so you can just pull that and it's, it's easy to get full throttle on it really quick because it has a, a short pull. You don't have to rotate the thing like all the way around. It feels like maybe 180 degree pull or less to get that full throttle. Now it's a seven speed Shimano, but my happy medium here is pedal assist level two and then get into gear number six. This bike is geared really, really low which I think is really smart of radio to do that because this is a cargo and kid carrying machine. You don't want a lot of top speed on this, even though it will do 20 miles an hour, but it'll ghost pedal after about 15 miles per hour. Follow this Lexus RX up the hill. I'm gonna do, uh, I mean, I have the throttle pinned. I'm using my feet as well to help us accelerate up this hill. And yeah, like pedal assist too is a happy place for me. My legs do just the right amount of work. And then the, I have a torque sensor for the pedals. So it's very natural feeling. Once you start pedaling, the bike picks it up and will assist you uh, on your way. So now that we're at the top here, it's still accelerating. My phone is saying 17 miles an hour, <laughs> which is way too fast for sidewalks, obviously. But we're on public street right now, and I want to be moving pretty quick here with the kids loaded up. I'm going about 21 in the back. This is a great brake test. I have a lot of load. I'm about, I would say, 50% into both the front and the rear brake. And uh, it slowed down the whole family pretty well here. And uh, you might be thinking, like, with this big train behind me, the caravan of kids I'm... I have, it would be difficult to maneuver this thing. Actually, I don't feel that weight behind me. Maybe it's because of the electric pedal assist I have going on, but I really feel comfortable here. I don't feel like I have them tagging along. Sometimes I have to double check and look behind me to make sure I got <laughs> everyone with me because the bike just does such a good job um, covering up all that extra weight of these four bodies. Speaking of extra weight, the the bike itself has 400 pounds of load capacity uh so you can put someone i think it's around 150 pounds in the back you can put a, a smaller adult in the back instead of two little kids so uh, let's go ahead and pin the throttle here again once i get past about 15 miles an hour even in seventh gear my legs don't help out much at all let's get around the sod truck 
This thing feels super stable at high speeds, even with all the kids. And you know, I thought having such a big tire in the front would be a, uh, a negative, but honestly, it's been such a positive for stability and it really does a great job soaking up uh, the bumps. And using that throttle right there to keep our momentum was super, super helpful when you're going up hills. It has just enough power to take four kids uh, uphill and get the job done. But uh, we've made it to the beach. Time for a little R&R. &R. <laughs> All right. And this is where it's nice to have that electric motor because I'm pushing it through the sand and I have the throttle pinned and it's actually pulling the whole family with it loaded up. Now, when I leave, I'm gonna make sure to take out all the kids for this situation, but it's actually moving quite well here in this sugar sand with me pushing an little electric motor assist. <laughs> Perfect basket for the kids shoes my shoes as well with the radio flyer this electric bike with the accessories this thing is a absolute family home run but this thing looks amazing uh what do you think what color would you be getting in i think there's blue black red and white i got the white here the white looks really really clean but if you want that more nostalgic radio flyer design get that red paint color but signing out with the Radio Flyer family e-bike, this thing's an absolute beast. Build quality is impeccable. Assembling it was really, really easy. Um, and the, just the quality of the carrier alone is, uh, is incredible too. So no details uh, were spared here. And uh, Radio Flyer's really converted well from a wagon brand that we grew up with to a family polling uh, e-bike machine of a company. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.